What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we are making steak tacos, also known as carne asada tacos. Can't wait to make these. I love them. Mexican street tacos, another name for them. I've been looking forward to this for a while. I've made chicken tacos, but I have not made steak tacos yet. So that's what we're doing today on the Blackstone. Everybody, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, I wanna thank you for all your support. Keep hitting that thumbs up and leaving those comments down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, so we start off with a red onion. We're gonna dice this up nice and fine. And this is gonna look really nice on our steak taco, carne asada taco. We're gonna speed it up a little bit here, get through this slice and dice. And just before you know it, it is done. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've got some tomatoes here. You can use any kind you want. I happen to have some Roma tomatoes. These are really good for tacos. That There's no seeds in them, or very few seeds, if any. Uh, and they just, they go really well with tacos. So we get our Roma tomatoes, and we just slice and dice, just like the onions. These are going to complement everything really, really nice. Put them off the side, and here's what they look like. Perfect. So we take our avocado, and you could do this a couple ways. You can make guacamole. Uh, which I love guacamole. This one was super ripe. I probably should have just made guacamole, but I decided to dice them up. I like to cut it all the way around that uh, the seed, and then I didn't even have to pop the seed out. It was so ripe. Cut it in one direction, turn it 90 degrees, cut the other direction, and that's kind of what it looks like. And scoop it out, put it into a bowl, and the toppings are great for tacos and a little tip here you want to take a lime and squeeze some lime juice on those avocados and that'll prevent them from turning brown these already had a little bit of brown to them but man these things were just super ripe and looking good so we want to take a bunch of cilantro here and chop them up we're going to make our cilantro lime crema I just made that up. Cilantro lime cream. Um, and with this, we want to take basically a bunch of cilantro, chop it up nice, and the, the zest of one lime. And you just want to get whatever kind of grater and get that zest. All the oils in the skin is just out of control, and you're going to get a ton of flavor out of this. And then just use the same lime, and you want to use the juice out of one lime as well. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Looks good. And then we want a half a cup of sour cream. And I'll put the uh, ingredients to this cilantro lime cream <laughs> in the ingredients below. I'm sorry, in the description below. So stir it up. And you want to get a stick blender because you want this to be nice and creamy. You want this to almost be like a salad dressing type of topping. So if you don't have one of these stick blenders, you got to get one. They're so convenient. I don't use them all the time, but when I need them, it's there. And man, it turns out awesome. So literally after a couple seconds, add some salt. Stir it up again with a spoon. And here's what you got. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. All right, time to fire up the Blackstone, throw some oil down. It's nice and heated up. Get it nice and coated with some oil. And we put down our soft tacos. I like soft tacos. I like hard tacos. I like all tacos. <laughs> I'm just being honest. They are so good. So 
today we're making four and you want you want a, a nice medium heat and this is not going to take long at all after literally 30 seconds to a minute I'm already turning them over and you can see them getting nice and brown and fluffing up full of air and another 30 seconds <laughs> to a minute go by and that's it they're ready to go so I like to pop the air out of them a little bit get a little bit more crust on the bottom side so these are still going to be soft but they're going to have a little bit of crispiness to them spin them around so the sensor gets a little cooked more and that's it take them off and the taco shells are ready now we got our handy dandy Blackstone taco organizer stand kit with the orange handles I love this thing this thing is so cool second time using it and I got this Black Angus beef for carne picada. Great for tacos. I got this at Aldi's. It was so cheap. I can't remember. I think I paid like, I paid like five bucks for this thing. It's basically carne asada all chopped up already. So I'm going to give it a little review today. The first time I ever use it. I ended up buying two of them. So we'll let you know in a bit. Uh, but it looks nice. So we throw it down on the black stone. You can hear that sizzle. And we're just going to chop this thing up right here with our chopper. It's already chopped up, but it's so packed together tightly. It's kind of almost like ground beef at this point um, that you kind of have to chop up anyway as well. So just want to chop it up, get it nice and um, smallest bit you can get because this is going into a taco. So. You don't, want to put, you don't want to put chunks in your taco. You want almost like a ground beef, but it's ground steak. So we add some salt. We add some pepper. Uh, we're going to add a bunch of spices, actually. We're going to add some garlic powder. And here we are going to add some McCormick's Chipotle Roasted Garlic from Grillmates. This stuff is excellent. I've used it before. Give it that nice Mexican flavor with that Chipotle pepper. And the roasted garlic, oh, it is absolutely wonderful. And then to give it a little more Mexican flavor, some chili powder. So we've got it nice and seasoned up. And we're just going to keep chopping this sucker up and mixing it around. And this is the fun part <laughs> for me. This is why you, this is why I'm happy I got the Blackstone because it's, it's a lot of fun. It's like you're out there, you're chopping around, you're mixing around, you know, the meat, chopping it up. Neighbors are looking over the fence. What the heck's going on over there? That's the fun part for me for the Blackstone. Dogs are barking. <laughs> Because if you think about it, they have a flat top griddle in basically every Mexican restaurant, every Asian restaurant with the hibachi, every diner that sells like, you know, breakfast or whatever, or burgers, any kind of burger joint for the most part. It's a lot of fun, let me tell you. All right, so we're going to chop this up as much as we can. As it cooks, you see it's starting to get a little brown. And starting to get cooked. You want to keep it together, make it nice and uniform so it cooks nice and evenly. 
So here you want to pick out any of the fatty parts. And I did notice some fatty parts, like that big chunk right there. And there were some other ones. And I probably could have done a better job of getting them out. This is the only part I wasn't crazy about. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be perfect because I didn't pay a lot of money for it. But it did have some fatty chunks in there. Um, so if you do buy this product, you're definitely going to want to take those out. Other than that, I, I did enjoy it. So that's it. It's almost done. We're going to mix it around a little bit more. Break up any big chunks. Make sure everything's nice and cooked. You want it. You don't want this medium rare. You want this done. A couple more mixes together. And that's it. We are ready. Let's go put this thing together. And let's go check it out. Look at these steak tacos, carne asada tacos, street tacos, I don't know, one of the three. They look amazing. Uh, I am so excited about this. Such an easy dish. A little prep work, a little chop, 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 some veggies, and man, <laughs> imagine serving this to some guests. Wow, that looks amazing. First, we're going to give us a little close-up. Here we go. Look at that. All right, let's dig in. But first, we're gonna throw on some habanero pepper sauce. Oh yeah. Yeah, we need a little, we need to kick it up a little bit. But man, that thing is looking good. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. The flavors are bursting. The steak tastes phenomenal. All the fresh veggies. The tomatoes, the avocado, the onions, the cheese, everything is just mm, absolutely delicious. Everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.